Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the offset function in Excel. Now the offset is another lookup function that is more advanced and, has, and offers more capabilities than a VLOOKUP or an index function. Uh, let's just take a look at how different is offset than a VLOOKUP or an index function. So when you write, uh, let's say a VLOOKUP function equals to VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP uh, asks you for, let's say a table array or let's say a range of cells where you want to do you know, a VLOOKUP. Uh, also in the index function also it asks you for a range of cells where you want to look forward to but in the offset function it asks you for a starting point I will explain that in a lot more detail but first I want to tell you that the offset function for me I have divided that into two parts so offset basic and offset advanced there is no such thing as offset basic or advanced it's just for helping you understand the offset function better I'm dividing the entire offset function into two parts so offset basic which is what we're going to discuss now and offset advanced which is what we're going to discuss in the next video let's just get started with the uh, the basic offset so what we have here is let's say uh, a set of products uh, and we have the sales of those products in three months right what we want to find out is that what is the sale of product 9 in the month of March uh, it could be done through VLOOKUP it could be done through index but we're going to see that how can we do it through an offset function so I'm going to write equals to offset and the first part of offset is the reference in simple terms this means that what is your starting point in the entire spreadsheet offset does not accept a you know a range of cells uh, it accepts a reference or a starting point so let's say I am my starting point is this this is where I want to start looking from this is my starting point I'm just gonna lock that then the offset function is asking me that from your starting point how many rows would you like to go down or would you like to go up right so the number of rows that I would like to go down uh, is where product 9 is placed so product 9 is placed in the ninth position so from here I would like to go 9 rows down so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and till 9 also one thing um, is very important to remember is that the reference or the starting point in the offset function is marked by the zeroth row and the zeroth column that means that now that you have defined this cell as a starting point for offset function this is zeroth row and this is the zeroth column so if i'm specifying that i want to go nine rows down so from here this is going to be counted as zero and then one two three four five six seven eight and nine so it's going to come till here the next thing that is asking me is that how many columns you want to go to the right again um, I can specify positive columns to go to the right I can specify negative columns to go back to the left so as of now since I have to go towards the right hand side and this is the zeroth column zeroth row so from here this will take one two and three as of now my offset by specifying row numbers 9 has reached here and then from here it is going to move to 1 2 and 3 because uh, my column number is March I'm going to close the bracket press enter and this is going to give me 137 right so simple three inputs in offset what is your starting point how many rows you want to go down or how many rows you want to go up if you want to go up the row number is going to be in minus if uh, you want to go to the right the number of columns then the column number is going to be positive if you want to go to the left the column number is going to be negative now obviously you cannot be writing 9 and 3 manually uh, you need to find a way to automate that right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the match function to automate that we've also used that in the index function pretty simple so I'm going to say equals to match match what match this product oops and match it uh, in this table array so I'm going to select the table array from here right because the counting for match begins for, from one so this is one in match so lock that and then uh, close the bracket this is going to give me row number nine and let's see if I change this to product 10 or let's say product 8 is the counting also changing to 8 yes it is All right these are just um, dummy counting I've just manually done that just for your reference uh, these have got actually no meaning this was just to help you understand All right now let's find out the column number for March uh, equals to match match what match the month of March match it here lock that and uh, zero is for exact match this is going to give me column number three and those two were the exact inputs in my offset formula so I'm going to shift uh, nine ex replace nine with the cell that I've used the match formula in and here 
uh, what I'm going to do is change three and link it to this cell so that row number and column number can be picked from here and here. Close the bracket, press enter. Since we change this to product eight for the month of March, this is 167. Right, let's just change it now. So let's say I want to see for product one and for the month of let's say February. So as soon as I press enter, uh, this will count till here and give me the value of March. Right, so this is 130 and let's just change this to January. This again changes to 77. So that's working absolutely fine. So those were offset, uh, where you start from, what is your row number and what is your column number. Let's take a look at another example where we specify one of the inputs row or the column in negative. So we have a couple of names here and a couple of IDs here. Based on the IDs, we have to find the correct names. So again, it could be done through an index function, but let's try and use the offset as to how does that work. So equals to offset. The first point in offset is a reference or my starting point. So my starting point is let's say this, right? I'm going to lock that uh, so that the starting point does not change when I copy the formula down. It's asking me for the number of rows, uh, the second input, and the number of rows is going to be the row number for 140 ID. So this is row number one because offset starts from zero. So this is zero, this is one, two, and three. So this is not row number three right so I could manually write row number three and then for columns if it finds the row number three it has to go back here so the column number is going to be minus one because it has to go to the left hand side and close the bracket press enter this is going to give you C which is exactly correct now again you cannot be writing the row numbers in the column numbers manually so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the match function here so equals to match match what match this match it where match it in this array lock that and I want to have an exact match so zero for that and column number is always going to be minus one because anytime you find the row number for the ID here just shift back column one to get the name that's what we're trying to say so column number is always equals to minus one all right and then uh, all I'm going to do is drag this formula down and I will have the correct names here Right. So that was the offset function. I hope you like this video. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and on YouTube. And don't forget to check out the offset advance where I'm going to explain the next two parts of height and width where you have the real capabilities of offset coming out. And you can also follow us all, all our blogs at goodie.co.in. Thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye bye.